Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. It's 68 degrees, it's about 12 o'clock. It's October 21st. And just kind of out looking, see how the bees are moving around. And they're not, they're not moving around hardly at all. Uh, it's not because it's cold. We had, we had some rain last night and this morning. So there is a lot of goldenrod, but remember, like I said in previous videos, if you have rain, that'll shut down your pollen production for most of the day. So the bees just not moving. They're just more or less just stuck inside. So uh, what I want to make today's video on is how late should you be feeding your bees sugar water? And that all just depends on how, where you're at in the country. Here in North Georgia, I have a timeline that I go by, or a date, unless the weather drastically changes, we will feed two parts sugar, one part water, all the way up until December 1st. Now that's just a date that we always go by, and then what we do, we let the sugar water run down by then, and then inside these feeders, I've done videos on this before, just to refresh in the, in the new beekeepers. Then we'll fill dry sugar to get them through the winter. And it's just uh, extra insurance. We fill up that uh, feeder all the way to the top. Usually about, it'll hold about half a bag, usually, comfortably. You put the lid on it, you pull the... And I'll make a video on that here shortly. When it when it comes time, I'll make a video explain that. So look at that. Look for that video in the future. So so what we're doing today, I'm just gonna mix up a little bit of sugar water, and we don't make tons right now. You know, I got my big feeder, my big mixer down there, and you know uh, the bees are they need it for a while, then they don't need it. So because we do have a good goldenrod flow going on. But if there's times where we have continuous rain for a while, I absolutely make sure I supplement the bees with a little bit of two to one sugar water just to assure and help them get through the winter. And that's what we're doing now. We're just gonna mix a little bit in a five gallon bucket. You see me do this before. And this may be just a little bit more than two to one. It doesn't hurt. Look, it's just less they have to evaporate. If it's a little bit thick, no big deal. They, they will take it down and store it and they will use it, no problem. Okay, here's my sugar, there's my five gallon bucket. It filled it up a little bit more than halfway. But look, this don't have to be exact. I got a 25 pound bag of sugar that I got at Walmart. And this is, this, this is all I do. Do this a day ahead of time and prep. I've done videos on this before, but just to show you a little bit and add to the video talking about the sugar water. Uh, I do use well water. I believe it's uh, a lot better for them than city water. If you can get you some well, if you, if, if you have well water. If not, you may, uh, I don't think it really all makes that much of a difference, but if you can use it, and if you have it, use it. But you know, I don't, the, the chlorine will evaporate. So it's not that big of a deal, but I just think I use this. I, do, I have city water and well water. I have this down by my barn, so it's just convenient too. So all I do, this is cold, of course. I don't use hot water to mix this. I used to years ago, and then it's, it's hot water isn't good for the sugar water. Uh, especially because a lot of people tend to boil it and, and you're not supposed to at all. So, I just mix it up with my hands, just simple as that. Fill it up the rest away with water. As much as you want to put in there. I don't measure anything here with this. Okay. And then all I do from here is put my lid on it. Now, if you have ant problems, you may want to, the, the lid seals it, so they really can't get in anyway, but if you want to put it up on top of something to keep them out of it, 
and that's all I do. I just, uh, I'll let this set till tomorrow, and I'll go in with my hand and stir a little bit up at the bottom, and that's it, and it's ready to go. And I'll pour, pour it out on the, in the beef eaters, and, and it's ready to go. It's as simple as that. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you need 2022 packages, barnyardbees.com, Queens for next year, beekeeping supplies, whatever you need. Uh, we're getting ready to do a video here probably within the next week or two because the, gold, the goldenrod will start slowing down uh, on our pollen feeders. And if you need pollen, now is the time in most part of the country to start using pollen because once this goldenrod is gone they will transition over to that pollen really fast and what it does for the bees it it helps them if they didn't get enough it's just like adding sugar water if they didn't get enough pollen through your goldenrod at the end of the year to store up for the winter this will definitely help them and it'll it'll save your bees trust me a lot of people will come out and they'll say, oh no, it doesn't, but I'm telling you, the bees gotta have a protein source. And they don't get protein from sugar water. So, by adding pollen, it makes a big difference, but just stay tuned for our next video, and we'll demonstrate how we feed out in the yard, which I've done that before, but just a little refresher video to everybody. But that is, that's it, folks. Don't forget, click on the little bell, like and subscribe. The geese are asleep. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.